Heyo everybody, Haku here with my review of the second episode of Fukigen na Manonokeen or The Moros Manonokeen. So, um, I really think that this one was better than the first one. I think the, um, the opening theme has grown on me and the show as a whole has grown on me. Like, I don't know, I feel like I really enjoyed this and kind of got into it. And I, I think that it's, it's grown on me a lot since the last episode. Um, so at the beginning, of course, we have the classroom scene and Hanai, I can't remember if it's like Hanae or Hanai, Hanai, but either way, Hanai saw the, um, a, an uh, eye leaf, uh, I'm just gonna call it the eye leaf, the eye leaf. He saw an eye leaf yokai and, um, we find out that Abano's like, no, unless we're on the job, then, uh, just ignore any yokai you see. But of course that doesn't work out because the yokai attaches itself to a girl's leg and Hanai jumps in to pull it off. And pretty much after that, the uh, eye leaf calls more eye leaves and they ambush um, Hanai. So then Abino opens up the Mononoke N or calls it and um, pulls Hanai inside. And once inside, the eye leaves like jump off of him because they don't want to go inside either. So once inside, they discuss what the problem is, and Abano is like, you know, I can't open the, um, I'm not strong enough, I can't open the underworld gate more than twice per day. So it would take multiple days to get rid of all of them because there's so many and there's no way we could catch them all together at once. So then they say, okay, we need to find their boss or their, um, their boss or their queen or whatever. So um, it was really funny there and the funny scenes with Hanai being scared and also seeing the how the eye leaves are just so cute when they look outside at them. I really love the eye leaves. They're like cute like the puffballs. So I'm liking all the yogi from this. Hopefully there will be some kind of merchandise from it. But um, that was really cool. And pretty much Hanai gets taken away and um, Abano gets ambushed by some more and they both get captured and brought to their boss, so easy enough to find him there. Their boss's voice is also super familiar, like Hanai's is, but I, I can't quite put my, I can't put my finger on it. But I'm thinking maybe it's the same voice as Kihara from, um, from Index Two. Uh, also, I think I may have figured it out. Again, I forgot to look it up. All it will take is me looking it up. But just listening to it, I think I might remember Hanai's voice. It sounds a lot to me like um, Melodius's voice from the Nanatsu no Taizai or Seven Deadly Sins anime. Um, so yeah, I think I think that might be where I remember it from. But e like either way, they uh, find out that easy enough, the um, boss I Leaf wants to go home to the underworld. So they send away all the little minions, and we find out that he can't go home that he just wanted to send them away as an act of love because he is dying here because of a, what they call it, the parasite shrub. And it's these roots keeping him trapped there and eating away at him until he dies. Well, Hanai says that's not good enough and he's gonna do whatever it takes to cut the boss eye leaf loose and save him. So um, that was really cool and Abano gives medicine to the eye leaf dude that uh has a really friggin scary scene like this this scene was like creepy as hell and like scary as hell where um the roots burn away and the boss eye leaf is screeching so it's crazy but boss eye leaf survives and they take him back to the underworld to be with his children also there's one thing that abano says where he talks about this um apothecary and the way he mentioned that, I feel like it wouldn't have been in there, it wouldn't have been mentioned if it wasn't important to the, um, if it wasn't important to the actual future story. So I do think we'll be seeing that or its owner or something like that in the future episodes. And of course, I hope we see a lot of these things again. Puffball's adorable and it's in the opening, like for the entire opening pretty much. So I really want Puffball to be in the story some more too. Um, and yeah, I'm probably just going to end up giving them names like this because it's easier. Um, so yeah, for this episode overall, the animation wasn't bad, but I will also say that it wasn't that good either. Like, again, the CG animation that's thrown in there, um, I, I don't really like that very much. It's not really a style that I prefer. Um, yeah, so I... Don't like that as much, but it wasn't, like, overall bad. 
Um, and there were a lot of really good animation sequences. Uh, the music, again, not as good as the last episode, but the music was really, really good. I'm liking the music. Um, especially the first episode, I really had this one really great track that I loved when uh, the Puffball Feels going home scene was happening. Also, when it comes to storyline, when it comes to, like, the actual story of it, I enjoyed it. It was funny. Um, not like huge laugh out loud funny like some anime like Sabajibu or um, Bimbo Gamiga or even it, what I would say is as funny as Mika Kunin de Shinkohei but still pretty funny and overall the enjoyability I just really enjoyed watching it the entire time and that's really important. So that being said I think I'll give it um uh eight gigigi oya boons out of um out of ten. 8 out of 10 because it was really really enjoyable but I mean it's not some like great huge masterful work or anything. So um yeah uh, I will be covering other than this anime covering week to week I'm also going to start doing 91 days and uh, Taboo Tattoo and Taboo Tattoo's second episode came out today so I'll do the first episode of each of those on sometime between Tuesday and Thursday and then I'll do the second the review of the second episode of um, Taboo Tattoo uh, sometime this weekend and then like every week sometime during the week I'm not gonna set particular days for the three that I plan to do them but whenever I have time between my other videos I'll put up the reviews of those three so it'll likely be sometime between Monday and Thursday but occasionally one might get pushed back to Friday or something or I might be like I think all the episodes come out on like Sundays and Mondays for them this season so I doubt I'll be able to do any on Sunday like Sunday night or anything so it'll likely be Monday through Thursday sometime when I do the uh, reviews so anyway like if you did like this video comment down there and tell me what you thought of the episode and what you thought of my thoughts on it subscribe for more uh, Fuki Gen no man, na man no um, 91 Days, Taboo Tattoo, and more. A lot more like Tower of God and One Piece and stuff. Um, follow on Twitter if you want as well. I'll try to keep you updated there on when I'm posting anything or pushing anything back. And that's it. So thank you one last time once again for watching. And uh, I'll see you all next time.